Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to another motivational, awesome through the Bible. Uh, last year, maybe two years ago, I went through the entire book of Proverbs, but going back on it, I noticed that I had missed a few um, chapters. One of them is chapter 26. I might have to divide this into a couple portions depending on how much time I have. So without any further ado, Proverbs chapter 26. It shouldn't snow in summer or rain in harvest, neither should a foolish person ever be honored. If you give honor and respect and glory to a foolish person, they're going to be like, I'm the greatest, I'm awesome, this is great. And it just ruins everything. Curses will not harm someone who is innocent, that are undeserved, never stick. They are like darting or flitting birds or like flying sparrows. If you put a curse on someone, you know, if there's someone doing witchcraft and they curse somebody, if God hasn't cursed that person or they're undeserving of it, it won't stick to them. You can curse someone all you want, but if God's blessing their life, they're going to have blessings, not cursings. The biblical example of this is, remember, Balaam. The one king realized the Israelites were coming through and they were taking over kingdom after kingdom. And he was afraid. He's like, they're going to come. They're going to take me over too. And so he paid a prophet money. He said, hey, go curse these people. But no matter how much that prophet tried to curse him, every time he prophesied, it was a blessing. And the guy's like, what are you doing? I've paid you all this time. Every time you've blessed him. And he's like, listen, I'm just prophesying the words God's given me. And God was angry with that prophet because he tried to curse God's people, remember? Uh, he said there was an angel there ready to cut his head off. So his donkey got down and tried to hide. But you'll know that a curse, curses will not harm someone who is innocent, that are undeserved, never stick. They're like darting, flitting birds or arrows or flying swirls. So know if someone's cursing you or judging you or talking bad about you, you don't have to fight that battle. God's going to fight it for you. He's got your back and he'll do just that. So don't worry about it. Know that he'll take care of you. All right. Whips are for horses and harness bridles are for donkeys. So paddles are good for fools and rods for the back of fools. It's like you got a, a bridle to lead a horse which way it's going to go, right? And you guide it. You lead it. Well, if someone's foolish, they don't get up and they just go to work. You got to whip them in the back. Hey, go. Come on. Do this job. Help me out. Hey, it's your turn to take out the trash. I don't want to. You got to goad them. Help them. But wise people know when it's time to work and they get right to work. So let me go on to the next one and then I need to get back to work too anyways. But whips are for horses and harness brides are for donkeys so paddles are good for fools and rods for fools back down to verse four don't answer fools when they speak foolishly or you'll be just like them you get around people they're talking crazy retarded stuff hey blank you're blank blank this blank blank hey. and if you're blank blank right back you just stepped out of being wise right into being foolish and for a minute there, you had the wisdom. You were like, no, that's foolish talk. But as soon as you go right back with them in foolishness, you're there. Same thing as above. You know, God's fighting your battles. Someone's talking foolishness to you. Don't answer them foolishly back. You stay wise. You take the high road. All right, probably going to have to finish this one on another day. So we will end. Well, and it goes on. Let me finish verse 5. Answer fools when they speak foolishly. Or they will think they are really wise. Be wise in their own eyes. A wise person must read the situation and know whether to answer or not. So try to answer people wisely. You could reiterate this. Answer people wisely. It shouldn't rain in summer or snow in harvest. So you don't give wisdom to foolish people. Or you don't give uh, honor to foolish people. Curses won't stick to you if you're innocent. Uh, whips are for horses and harnesses are for donkeys so paddles are good for fools and the last one we covered don't answer fools when they speak foolishly or you'll be just like them all right so i hope you like that this is going to have to be uh proverbs 26 part one it's quite a few verses here but just walk in the verses that i gave you just these are just simple little practical things you can do every day to make yourself a little wiser hope you have a great day take care